guys, welcome back. So we know it's been a while since we made a video, and we honestly didn't expect our last one to kind of blow up as much as it did. No, not at all. I mean, honestly, we just kind of made that because we were bored and we just wanted to show our house to a lot of friends and family who hasn't had a chance to come by and see it. So we just want to thank all you guys that tuned in and watched the video, and those that subscribed, thank you. We appreciate that. And we're sorry for a long time off, but hopefully here in the next few weeks, we'll get you guys some more content out there. So we have a lot to kind of catch up on. Um, on our last video, we saw a lot of questions about the house, and we kind of wanted to address some of those. I guess first we should address what we're holding. Um, on our farm, we're currently in the middle of lambing season, so we actually have two bottle babies that we're having to take care of in the house. And I think I love it more than Zach does, but they're a lot of fun. We've done it before, but we've never had two. So this is Peggy. She is, she's definitely my baby. For sure. Um, she's super sweet. She unfortunately lost her mom. So we brought her in and we've had her for two weeks today. She's two weeks old today. Yep. And this is Otto. He comes from, well, we honestly have no idea where he comes from. Uh, we just seen him walking around in the field one day crying, and evidently his mom had him, and he was rejected, and she just didn't take him. So we ended up bringing him in, and he became another one of our little bottle babies. We actually, two years ago, had another baby in the same situation. We named him Bucky. He was our first little bottle baby. But If you can tell us what the theme is for naming our bottle lambs, put it in a comment below, and we'll see who can kind of guess what our theme is. So another thing to kind of talk about definitely is remodeling. So we are yes. currently remodeling almost the entire house. Um, that's kind of a little hint at some future videos that we hope to put out. But first, we really need to talk about probably the biggest problem area in our house, which was the kitchen. Yeah, absolutely. There were a lot of comments asking about why we had things a certain way or even comments saying that they just didn't see how it was functional. And it kind of wasn't. The longer we've lived here, the more things that we have found that just didn't work like we thought that they would, and the kitchen was the first one. So we've actually completely redone our kitchen, and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. We absolutely love it. It has more in it, but somehow feels like there's Bigger, more space. Yeah. So we're super excited, and we're really happy to have it finished. Yeah. So I guess with that being said, let's show you guys our kitchen. right off the bat when you come into the kitchen one is this new runner that we put in here I feel like it really ties all the things that we did together and it honestly just makes everything feel more homey before I feel like the house just kind of felt like an RV or something but now with like these little finishing touches that we added I feel like it actually feels like a home another thing you'll notice are these new blue cabinets i honestly couldn't be happier with how they turned out when we first did the kitchen i just stuck with white cabinetry because i was afraid it would make things feel cramped and you didn't have enough space but honestly i feel like this splash of color just made everything look so much better and i feel like the blue was the perfect choice with some of the other things that we picked out Another thing, and something that we were in desperate need of, someone else commented about this in the last video, we had zero prep space. We had one cabinet with an 18-inch countertop, and that's what we were supposed to use to prep our food and to cook and really do anything you're supposed to do in a kitchen, and a lot of the times it was near impossible. Now we have a huge counter space, and really we didn't even have to do much to get it. 
this countertop we already had all we had to do was purchase two new cabinets paint them blue and set them in place and we were good to go so now not only do we have more cabinets for storage space we now have so much countertop space to cook and prep our food and to even work on if we needed to so probably my favorite part of our kitchen renovation was buying this stove I liked our apartment size stove, but I did not like the top. It was so much harder to clean. And so I was super excited to get a glass top stove. We bought a full size because we knew that we had room for it. And I was super, super happy to change this out and upgrade this. We also ended up going with a new microwave and we bought one that is mounted. This one is significantly bigger than our last one that we had, but it's so nice. Um, it has t plenty of room in it, and it also comes with a light and with a fan um, that we're, we were really excited to have that feature in our new microwave. So we also upgraded our fridge. Um, we went with a stainless steel that matched the stove and the microwave. This one is really nice, and it comes with a ton of storage. Our previous one, we had the freezer on top and the fridge on the bottom. This one's the opposite and we feel like it gives us more room. The freezer on the bottom actually comes with an, a pullout drawer. So you have the bottom part and then a pullout drawer. And then we have the inside of this fridge and it's really big and spacious. So when we had our previous kitchen, we did not make a pantry. We had that upper shelf that we thought would be enough space. But we actually ended up using the table that we made for more pantry space, which it just really became an eyesore for us. So when we decided to redo the kitchen, we knew that we wanted a true pantry. So this is an 84 inch tall pantry and I absolutely love it. It came with more than enough storage than we need. And it also got all of that clutter and all of that mess off of the table. Right here, you'll notice that we have some actual barn door hardware. In our last video, you seen that we just used some old galvanized pipe to make a barn door, but actually, this is cheaper than that was, and that's just how much the prices of barn door kits have dropped in the past few years, so not only are they more attainable, these are much more feasible to use. This makes virtually no noise where that other one was pretty loud and made a racket and two, it just moves so much more smoothly than the other one does. And it comes with these nice stoppers that we put on both ends to keep the countertop from being damaged or from it sliding too far off the track. If you remember on our last video, we had a gray futon. We officially retired it Thankfully, it was old and it was very uncomfortable and we got this really nice couch. We both really like it. Uh, we went with a different color. We went with a lighter kind of tan color. We bought this one specifically because it came with storage built into it, which is something that we thought that we would really need. Unfortunately, it doesn't fold out into a bed like our futon did. But honestly, we didn't use it enough to justify us buying a pullout couch. Thanks everyone for watching today. If you have ideas for future videos, like if you want to see the rest of the remodel or you would like to see some videos about some baby lambs or a tour of our farm, just let us know in the comments. But with that being said, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Are you recording? Um, yes. Uh, uh. Are you recording? Every bit. I hate you. He's special. All I do is chew, 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 no matter what. Got grazing on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I walk up in the field, everybody's heads goes up. And they say, bam! And they say, <laughs> No? No. I thought it was...